Hey Coyotes, and welcome to this week's edition of CMS TV. We will learn what the Tony Hawk Foundation is, get the inside scoop on Ice Town, recap hoop coming, and much more. I'm Ariana, and I'm Ariana, and CMS TV starts now. Just a friendly reminder to all those readers out there, the Rockin' Readers deadline is April 30th. Now to kick off the show, you'll visit a new ice rink in Carlsbad called Ice Town with Alex. There is a new ice rink in Carlsbad. It is called Ice Town. It is located on 2283 Cosmos Court. The rink is very big. You can have private lessons with skating and puck handles. You can have bigger skating books. All of the skates are brand new. They have benches and locker rooms for people to get ready at. Prices for general admission is $12 to do public sessions. They have hockey camps and figure skating. The young and old can play hockey and figure skating. You can contact them at 760-893-8219. Hope you'd enjoy the Coyotes. Now back to the anchors. Thanks, Alex. That was awesome. I hope you all dress like your dream job because today brings an end to our school's college and career week. Next up, we have a tour of the Tony Hawk Industry Building with Brody, and we'll learn what the Tony Hawk Foundation is. Take it away. Hey Coyotes, this is Brody here, and I'm here to take you on a tour of Tony Hawk Industries, also known as THI. Located in Vista, THI is home to the Tony Hawk Foundation, 900 Films, Birdhouse Skateboards, and Tony Hawk himself. Birdhouse Skateboards was started by Tony Hawk in the late 90s and is still going strong to this day. Just recently, Birdhouse won Thrasher King of the Road two times in a row, which has never been done before. Tony Hawk, Jesse Fritch, and the comedian John Dale all host a serious show, which is a national one-hour radio talk show every Tuesday. 900 Films create shows for the YouTube channel Ride, along with skate videos, TV commercials, and more. This is the studio of The Weekend Buzz, which is a weekly show on the Ride channel where they interview some of the biggest names in skateboarding. Every pro that goes on the show signs their name on the wall behind the desk. The Tony Hawk Foundation is an organization that raises money to build skate parks in low-income areas. To help raise money for Tony Hawk Foundation, go to this website down below. signing out back to the anchors. Ding nabbit Brody, that was great! Over spring break, Miracosta College will be hosting a free all-girls STEM camp. It's never too early to reserve your seat. For more information, go to Calavera's website. Now to Ryan with the top 10 sports players of the past few years. Hello everybody of Calavera Hills Middle School. I am Bryce. And I'm Ryan. And we are going to do a little something we like to call top 10 sports plays of the last couple years. Let's go.
Thanks Ryan, that was exceptional. If any of you see someone from LEGO Robotics, make sure to congratulate them on earning the first place Inspiration Award. Next up, Eli will tell us all about the Forgotten Paws Dog Rescue. Hi, this is Eli Pergerson, and I went to the Forgotten Paws Dog Rescue by Petco Unleashed. There, you can find around 10 Chihuahua mixes that are looking for a home. I talked to two volunteers and the creator of Forgotten Paws to see how you can help. We've rescued probably 200 on average a year. We know we can adopt out about 150 a year. Some of the ones that we get over that amount may be medical issues or dogs that we find do better at our own homes and they kind of end up staying with us. Sometimes we'll get a dog from a shelter that ends up having seizures. And we can get those adopted out, but it takes a long time. But on average, about 150 a year we find new homes for. And about 200 we try and get out of the shelters per year. The inspiration for all of this started many years ago. I've always collected strays when I was little. When we moved to California in the 90s, we noticed that in the shelter system, Chihuahua Chihuahua mixes were the most euthanized in this country. It's probably 10,000 a day that we end their lives, and they're just nice, normal, healthy dogs that, for whatever reason, people can't keep anymore or overbred. So that's where the inspiration comes from keeping them alive, getting them into new homes. Yeah. I love helping the animals and just telling people about them. <laughs> You can help Forgotten Paws by donating money or fostering a dog for us. We have plenty of dogs that need homes, and for every foster, you can get one more dog out of a shelter. There's quite a few ways you can get a hold of us through our website, ForgottenPaws.org. We're on Facebook. Many of the Petco stores know who we are. You can Google Chihuahua Rescue in Southern California, and I'll, I'll be one of the names that comes up other social media sites. We get a lot of repeat business from dogs, owners who have come to us for a second dog or a replacement for a dog that's passed. So we're everywhere. I'm Eli Pregerson. This is Waldo. Now back to the anchors. Weren't all those doggies cute? I just want to pick them up and cuddle with them at the end of a rainbow. Next, we have Mitchell with a recap on the hoop coming parade.
Hey Coyotes, I'm here at Sage Creek High School bringing you footage of the Hoopcoming Parade. This parade is a tradition connected by many high schools around the world. It usually consists of floats or movable structures with decorations. These floats are created by the school's classes. Many of Sage Creek School clubs participated in the parade. Some of the clubs were Bobcat Crafters, Speech and Debate, Robotics, Avid, Bobcats for Africa, Drama, Digital Arts, Key Club, and many other sports related clubs. Hope to see you at the next Hoop Coming. I'm Mitchell Ben reporting for CMS TV. Now back to the anchors. Now that's all we have for the Ariana and Ariana show. Have a super califragilistic expialidocious weekend, coyotes. Bye. Bye. Fun? Yes. Yep. <laughs> did, you, did you learn anything today? Yes. What'd you learn? Don't pick up dead animals. <laughs> and don't and don't litter. No way.